guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to show a couple ways I'm preparing for postpartum and all the ways that we are ready for baby girl. So didn't think I'd be making this video, um, but I thought it'd just be fun to document. So we finally got the cart all done. Um, it is still a little disorganized here, but got her clothes all washed, diaper stuff ready to go. This is going to move out into the living room when she comes and that will be like my nursing station. We got this all set up. So this probably won't end up on our bed, but super cute. Um, all ready to go. Got our hospital bags. This is my hospital bag. This is Steven's. Last time I had three, and I think that was overkill. I'm going to try to stick to two. So no diaper bag because they, I didn't use any diapers last time. So something I'm doing differently is just doing two bags. Mine, and I have some baby stuff in there. And Steven's, which is, I'm not going to show everything in here, but like there's stuff for labor and delivery, basically. Heating pad. Here's like some snacks for us. Here's a diffuser, um, massage oil with like a massage ball for my lower back. Um, I have a change of clothes for him and like my birth plan and a book. Or he took the book out, but he's gonna put it back in. For me, I have toiletries, my change of clothes, baby's clothes, my birth plan, nursing cover, nursing bra, um, things like that. Some things for baby. So yeah, keeping it more minimal with that. I have the camera and tripod ready to go. Then I have over here the bedside bassinet is all ready to go. This is the dock tot. Um, dock tot will probably come out of here, but I just put it in there and I put this nice little sheet on it for now. I also got sheets for the actual bed. So I have that one and another one. They're really soft. I got this cotton blanket for my baby shower. So this is what she'll probably be using if I feel she needs a blanket at any time. Cute little elephant. And then I got this nursing station kind of roughly set up for her. So I remember in the middle of the night needing, these are the nursing um, pads, changing clothes, some burp cloths, diapers, wipes, nipple cream. But I'll probably, obviously I'll need a water bottle, snacks, swaddles. So we'll see in a nightlight. I need to move the nightlight from there to here. But this is primarily ready. And down here we just have diapers, more diapers, wipes. And this is my breast pump that came in. That is ready to go for baby. Are you ready for baby girl? Yeah. Yeah. Another way I'm ready is having all this stuff ready for my dad who will be watching the boys while we're in the hospital. So this is all their food. I told my dad he can, you know, you can take him to dinner, you can make food, but he likes having something that he knows that I'm happy with them eating so that he's not scrambling. So I got him like just a fail safe, like here's some good oatmeal for breakfast and they can have that with like an apple. And then I have like, you know, this chickpea pasta for lunch, this chicken noodle soup for dinner one night, another dinner or lunch they can do these like lentils with brown rice packs I got. Some of these Sprout Organics packs for him. Um, I got baby, just generic baby bath soap because I know sometimes my sister bathes them and I don't think they have like bath soap, whatever. Um, some brownie mix that he can do with my sister. Some like Laura bars and stuff. So yeah, this is kind of just like a basic jumping off point if they want. Then I have their clothes and I labeled them all so that he doesn't have to wonder. I put them in bags, so it's like I did Elliot's pajamas, Joseph's pajamas, then three outfits for Joseph. Wow, why is it like so zoomed in? And three outfits for Elliot, including their socks. And then down here is diapers and wipes. So I'm hoping that that should be enough. I didn't do jackets because it's been so warm, and I figured they could just go without brushing their teeth for a few days. <laughs> then here, my sister had given me these, so I'm going to pack these for them to do, just kind of like some fun paint thing, um, sheets for the bed we have over there. We got Joseph like a futon, a baby, I guess futon, kid futon thing. And then Elliot has a pack and play. So I'm gonna need another sheet, but fitted sheets for them. They already have blankets over there. And then someone gave this to Joseph, so I thought another fun thing to paint. So yeah, when we are leaving or whatnot, I can just have this, it's all ready to go and I just grab it and go. So another thing I did was freezer meals, which I didn't film myself making because it was kind of like a mad scramble. I didn't think I'd be have any time to make them since I didn't start until over 38 weeks 
I got 39 weeks, I was like, you know what, I have time, still not having, still not giving birth, let me just try to pump a few out, and I did like six one night, like eight another night. So anyway, I have a total of like 20 different dinners, so I'll just show briefly what I can show. So first off is I made these protein balls. Of course, this bag was already eaten. You can see here I have like a massive bag of, these are lactation or just like energy bites, like peanut butter, oats, flax, chia, honey, and chocolate chips. So these are really good. There's a ton of them in there. Then in this freezer, we just have these freezer meals. So I have two things of enchiladas and I put them in glass containers so that I can just defrost and put them in the oven and they're done. And like they're already, all the meat's already cooked. Two things of enchiladas and two things of creamy chicken spinach lasagna that I made and they're really big portions. And then two bags of white chicken chili. So here's one bag of white chicken chili and here's the other bag of white chicken chili. And everything in there is already cooked. This isn't like a cook in the Instant Pot, it's just reheat. So I thought that would be the easiest. So there's six of them. And the next thing my husband did for me, um, I had the idea of having like a second fridge. I thought it'd be nice to have a second fridge or freezer because it can't fit a lot in that other one. I mean, could, but not as far as like deep storage for a lot of meals. So we found this one on OfferUp. It was 280 and it was really well working. The guy delivered it clean. It's a whirlpool, blows really cold. So yeah, now we have a second. He cleared this whole area out. Now we have a second fridge and freezer. And then we also put this in. I say we, my husband put this in. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is do like an upper and lower cabinet here. He does a lot of kitchens and baths and ends up with extra cabinets. So I think he's gonna put like an upper up here so that I can do some like dry goods storage. But I can't see. But anyway, so I stuffed this one full with the rest of my meals. We have sausage gumbo, chicken alfredo back there. I have two chicken alfredos, two creamy chicken. Um, so this is like the sauce that you then like cook down and then you add penne pasta for that one. Or the alfredo, you add the fettuccine. Sausage gumbo, I just cook, basically cook down. I have to make a roux and then I add it. But like pretty, this is salsa chicken and this is a rotisserie chicken I used. They're kind of frozen weird, but I basically shredded up my sister helped me shred up Costco rotisserie chicken, and then I add the ingredients. So everything is already cooked for that, and you just serve it with tortillas or over rice. This is a marinade of teriyaki chicken. So this one is actually not cooked, but I did two of the teriyaki chickens that we can grill. That would be good. Here's my other Alfredo chicken. Here's two like hamburger helpers, basically. So you just cook this up, it's already cooked, and add it uh, macaroni noodles. There's the other um, teriyaki chicken, and this is, oh, barbecue chicken. So this one is just a marinade as well. This is like the Primal Kitchen barbecue chicken, or barbecue sauce. And then I bought these Jimmy Dean like egg white um, turkey sausage breakfast sandwiches just to have on hand. Same with this yakisoba. Brought, bought this, two pizzas, cauliflower crust pizzas. And this lasagna already made. So total with these meals, we have 20 dinners, which they're big portions. Like this has a ton of chicken in it. I mean, this would be enough for like our whole family and then lunch. Most of them could do a lunch as well. So I'm happy about that. And then we have the fridge. So I just put some, I got some Lunchables to try to make things easy, some orange juice. And now we have room for milk because it's always like a mad scramble. Like, shoot, I'm out of milk for Elliot. Let's go get milk. So. Don't plan on being like that anymore. And here is where I just keep more dry goods. So I plan on making a stash, but like I have a big thing of brown rice, oats, I wanna make more granola, you know, tomatoes and, and beans. Where's your bike? Oh. Okay, so baby bath is ready to go. She's got her two towels down there and I didn't do like a full on postpartum kit thing because they give you so much at the hospital. I plan to just take as many things as I can there. I do have my Tux um, cooling pads still with Witch Hazel from last pregnancy. So I just have those here. This is for hemorrhoids. I still have this. So those are the items I ended up getting extra. So I just have those still. And then I'll just use whatever the hospital gives me and buy things as needed. Finally, last time I remember with I think I had a second degree tear with Elliot and I wanted a 
it hurt to sit down. And I considered buying like a donut pillow where you, you know, have less pressure in the middle and, and it's easier to sit. I didn't get one because it was like $40 and I was like, I'm only gonna need this for a little bit. And then I remembered, I have a donut pillow. <laughs> this is just a random fun donut pillow we got at Target for the boys at some point. So I don't know if it'll work, but I'm like, I'll sit on this if that is the case again this time. See how that works. So I'm trying to be more minimal. We today took this cover off and washed it and cleaned up the base and everything. I downloaded the app and that works well. And lastly, my friend let me borrow her birthing ball. So I've been bouncing on that and uh, try to use that in the beginning of stages of labor when I'm just at home and the contractions haven't picked up or anything like that. And I'll be using that. So that's pretty much how I'm preparing for postpartum in that way. Um, on top of this preparation, my church wanted to do a meal plant, meal train for us when the baby comes. So that would be nice, um, even if it's just a few meals. Also, I hired a cleaning lady who comes every week now, so she's already started doing that. I have my sister coming once a week to help with cleaning and uh, laundry, watching the boys and whatnot. Um, so I have that lined up. One last thing I would like to do is have some set, I don't know, activities or things for the boys to do when I'm breastfeeding, like a bin that only comes out when I'm breastfeeding. I was thinking of putting it under the chair just to make it special so that they're not like wondering what to do. That's something I thought of just today, but that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.